Welcome to this edition of Northwest Real Estate Forum. I'm your host, Patricia Wangsness. Today, we continue our conversation with Janine Jeremilo from Rainier Title about important issues with title insurance. Welcome back, Janine. Thank you for having me, Patricia. So we're going to continue our conversation about title insurance, okay. which insurance, like anything else, you never really understand it or think it's important until you need it. So we talked before about the basics about title insurance, about what it is, why there's two policies, what kinds of policies are available. But now I want to talk about the problems. When do you really call up your title insurance company and say, I've got a problem, or what would indicate a problem? That's a great question. Um, a lot of your buyers want to know why they have to have title insurance. For example, if there was a DHSH lien, if there was a judgment against you, if there was federal tax liens, those are the type of liens that protect the the seller or the buyers, and that's where we'll come in, and you know that's where we have to see those on the title, and basically tell you this is you know this is what's going on against the property, and if you're going to if we're going to insure it, if we're going to if we're even going to release it before it's actually closed. So. What you're saying is that the seller might have tax liens and the government would have liened the property. Correct. Therefore, the buyer couldn't get clear title. Correct. Okay. Well, that's important to know. So those are important things to know. Well, and what's important is that when a broker goes to a listing appointment and takes the listing and is working with the seller, a very common last name, Johnson, Smith, Blacks, if that last name happens to have a lien against the property and that seller's like, Patricia, that's not me. That is something that we will be able to go and investigate for them also, which is important because most of the time it isn't them. But we have to, you know, again, it's posted because it's a common last name and therefore we have to do the research first. Yeah, I see that a lot, as, you know, common names. And sometimes uh, children that have not been terribly good will have something leaned against a property if it's the same name as the father or the mother or whatever. So that's really good. Now talk about boundary line adjustments. Say it's ten, it's five years and maybe there was an encroachment on a fence. How would that be handled? Okay, that's a great question. We talked about that in our earlier segment and the Ulta policy is what will protect you from that. It happens more frequently than none and on a case like that, we, that's where we would come in and we would take care of either most of the time satisfying the neighbor that it mm -hmm. was encroached on. That is generally the most cost efficient way for us to handle things. Okay. But there have been times when the neighbor doesn't want it that way and they want it taken, then we have to then we have to actually go in there and physically have it mm -hmm. taken out and, and adjust it to to the satisfaction. So that would be a boundary line. Absolutely. Adjustment. Fences, decks, patios, we see that quite often. Okay. So I know that um, we had an issue with a Rainier title, came to the rescue with a boundary line adjustment for our seller, and those can take a period of time, but it, Rainier will go and address it and take care of it immediately and then wait for the resolution down the road. Correct. That is something, if we can talk about our relationship, that absolutely, that you and I have been working together for years, and I appreciate your loyalty, thank you, that you come and you call and you say this, we know that with your reputation and you know we, the respect that we have and your clients have for you, we'll get in there and say we'll take this on for Patricia and her clients because you know we know because Patricia will make it good. <laughs> Patricia will make it good for us. But yes. Well, thanks very much, Janine. Thank That's you. really very helpful, and I know that that would be great information for our clients. Thank you. Thanks for watching this edition of Northwest Real Estate Forum. Whether you are buying, selling, or sitting on the sidelines. Keep watching for important information on topics that are impacting your biggest asset, your home. To learn more about this and other shows, please visit us at northwestrealestateforum.com or check us out on Facebook. While you're there, be sure to order your free copy of Neighbor Law. I'm your host, Patricia Wangsness. See you next time.